so uh, good morning. I'm, I'm Dr. Menzi. I come from Brescia, at the University of Brescia in Italy, in the north part of Italy. And today I speak about the sinus lift and in particular about the different approach, so the one-stage approach versus two-stage approach in the lateral sinus lift. And, um, the difference in using uh, um, natural bovine bone respect of uh, synthetic bone during the sinus augmentation. But we uh, speak also about the literature evidence about, about different issues, for example the use of collagen membrane to cover the lateral window of the sinus or uh, not use the uh, collagen membrane and uh, the alternatives uh, to the uh, lateral approach, so the crestal approach, or the alternatives to the sinus lift, for example, the short implant and tilted implant uh, to avoid uh, an operation that someone uh, prefer to not do or the patient prefer to, to have something uh, uh, mini-invasive uh, uh, respect of uh, a neurosurgery. So we, we share uh, two clinical cases um, and uh, see uh, two videos uh, to uh, compare different uh, surgical technique and uh, different uh, anatomical condition that you can find during uh, your operation. Uh, all right. Um as a conclusion of your lecture, do you say uh, an opinion, like what do you think, or you only say aspects uh, which people can like consider themselves, which uh, can help them to decide? So, what, what is your? Do you have a con uh, like a conclusion or just options and listing the literature and your own personal experience? Okay, uh, this is a very good question because uh, I'm a researcher, so from a scientific point of view view, um, I follow the indication take from the literature. But I'm also a private practice and uh, when you work uh, every day you meet some different uh, uh, subjects, some different conditions, some different possibility and also some limitation. Uh, so I try to share with the uh, participants also my personal opinion and uh, for example I, I told them that I prefer to use the simpler method that I can uh, so if I can use the short implants I use the short implants because the literature uh, sustain these uh, procedures and my personal experience is good in this uh, uh, practice and um, I'm not so um, agree with tilted implant because the evidence uh, are not so uh, strong and uh, also because the uh, skillful of the operator uh, it must be high to, to obtain a very good result with this uh, uh, technique. And um, also I, um, I told them that if the literature tell us that there are no significantly statistically difference, uh, this is not always uh, uh, true from the clinical point of view. So I suggest us to read the literature and analyze the liter literature critically. Okay. So this is what you do in your own personal practice too? Yeah. That you read an article or, or evidence-based dentistry yeah. and then you mix it with your own Yes, uh, yes, surely. Also for my students, I try to, to teach them that they have to make yourself the question, find the answer in the literature and then critically analyze this answer um, based on their experience. So an experience of a student is little, mine is major. From the professor it's different. So uh, everyone has to mix the information from the literature and translate in their uh, uh, clinical uh, private activity. Okay. What is your conclusion of the one or two step uh, sinus? 
Okay. Your, uh, personal choice. Yes. Um, personally, I prefer one stage uh, when you can. So uh, it's um, it, if you can try. If you have uh, uh, two, three millimeters of residual bone high, and you have uh, uh, an implant with a very good grip and a very good uh, surface, uh, you can try to obtain the primer stability. But be because the problem is also that if you can obtain with three threads of the implants the primer stability, I prefer to perform the one stage technique. technique. Um, so I think that you can try. And if you cannot obtain, you remove your implant and you pass in the two-stage technique. There are no problem. Okay. Uh, piezoelectric surgery. Really, piezoelectric really surgery. Really hot topic right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you use piezoelectric surgery in your uh, private? Yes. Do yes. you think this is the future? Ever. I, I, I think that it's future. It's present, not future. Um, I think that it's useful, easier and prevent some complication, in this specific case, the perforation of the membrane, but uh, also uh, I make a lot of periodontal surgery as a periodontist, so uh, when I perform resective surgery, uh, I prefer to use the piezoelectric system because it's uh, handy to use uh, in the posterior area when you have a tongue, gum, soft tissue that you have to uh, protect and with a long bar it's not easy okay and uh, so yes it's the present and also the future yeah I, um, I had the question um, what is your personal opinion on short implants short implants uh, also this for me is uh, the future um, we don't have a lot of evidence now especially a long-term uh, uh, clinical trial uh, who sustain this uh, uh, approach uh, but uh, mm, with the new surface of the implant and if you have the anatomical and biological condition so a good bone a good uh, uh, width of bone you can uh, um, increase the diameter of the implants and use the short implants with a, a good results. I, I think that the, the first problem in implantology is the, um, the need to put implant also if you haven't bone. It's impossible, <laughs> okay? So if you uh, can create new bone with the correct uh, shape for your implant, you can put the implant. If not, you have to choose for another solution, prosthetic solution. This is only the difference. Okay. Autogenic, synthetic or bovine? Sorry? Uh, autogenic, okay. synthetic or bovine? Synthetic. Uh, yeah. Absolutely synthetic. Uh, I'm very convinced about that because uh, uh, first, uh, it's uh, uh, handy. So, uh, especially the BCP, so biphasic calcium phosphate, is hydrophilic, so when you uh, use the saline solution or blood of the patient, uh, the material becomes very uh, easy to, to take and, place, and put in another place. And uh, especially because uh, you can avoid to use animal um, substitutes, but not also because we have to kill the animal, but because the process to obtain the deproteinization and deantigenization uh, it's not easy to standardize and so sometimes uh, we can have problem uh, of reaction to this biomaterial so i think the synthetic biomaterial is the future absolutely um, what is your opinion on sinus lift without the graph material Sinus lift? Without the graft. Without. Um, mm, uh, I think uh, that it's. Um, uh, we have no 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 data uh, about uh, this technique, and uh, it's too much difficult uh, to uh, 
propose to general dentists uh, or dentists that make sur oral surgery only sometimes during the year. Only the very expert uh, surgeon uh, could uh, use this technique. And uh, it's all also um, uh, too much depending uh, from the char characteristic of the Schneiderian membrane. If you meet a very thin membrane, you can suture it to the wall of the sinus. So uh, there are too many uh, variability in this technique uh, to, to, to propose uh, now, at the moment, uh, during uh, International Congress, I think.